Hi, babe. Hey, we're live. Okay. I'm still looking for you. Yeah, I'm looking for us. Who's muted? <laughs> I am muted. I didn't want to you to hear all the extra noise. Oh. <laughs> okay. Now I see any popcorn. Okay. Bottom off of that one. Yeah, if it gets loud here with the landscapers on mute too. Okay. I just watch it closely. Here we are. I see us. Hello, everybody lurking. Welcome. Hi, Laura. Hi, Laura. Hi, how are Laura. you? Hi, Laura. Okay. I have to wrap purse and then. What's the matter? Peter. What is that white thing? Is that a dish? Yeah. Oh, my camera moved. Yeah. Hang on. Oh. Yeah. I'll What's the matter? Hi, welcome. Yeah. Welcome. Hi, Jane. Hi, Missy. Alan. Hi, Hi, JP. Yes, you're supposed to be looking at that. <laughs> My camera just moved. So we're all working on different things using up our stash. Yes. Yeah. We fixed the camera. Y'all are looking at my desk. Sorry. So Kim, I um I've got some those uh, inks that you had the distress oxide. I yeah. have four. Uh, I have four of them. I've been playing with them. So that's great, what's great. on my that's what's on my table right now. Aren't they fun? Yeah, yeah. I like the way they they have both ink and paint, and it plays. You can play around with it. It's really nice. If they start to dry out a little bit, just spritz them with some water. Yeah, I did that, and they they got these great um, uh, splotches all over them. I love it. Sorry, I'm making everybody dizzy. I got to get my camera situated. It decides to move around now. Oh, great, Laura! Can't wow. wait. You have to come on with this when you get it. There we go. That'll be fun. Okay, Jane. Hi, Missy. Thanks for coming, Missy. Put him in his house. I can't even get to my sewing machine right now. You go, Jean. You pack those bags. Oh, Laura was sewing ruffles last night. Fun. Kathy, those tags are really pretty. Thank you. Get in there. I got more. <laughs> I'm working with paper scraps again today. I'm trying to bust my paper scrap stash. So I just wanted to say that because you don't see anything on my desk yet. It's getting getting there. What's everybody in the chat working on? Hey, Marie, how are you? Hi, Good Maria. You. Hi, Maria. Let's 
Doing good. Uh, okay, should I go across the t uh, right here too, or should I just leave it like it is? Oh, there goes my camera again. Hello, anybody got a comment? What were you looking at? What is it? Yeah, I can't see what you're asking. Look at YouTube. It's up. What is it you're asking? Show again. Should I put the dots across here too or just where they are? I would put the dots where they are in my opinion. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. This looks a little bare in here. Maybe after it dries, I'll do a little tiny stamp in it. Oh, you're funny, Missy. <laughs> I know I shouldn't be using paper. I'll be, I'll run out. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Me too. I, just, I packed a whole box of it for for Karen and looked at the shelf and said, "Oh my God, what am I gonna do with the rest of that?" Like, what was I thinking? <laughs> Busting my paper stash. I don't have nearly enough. <laughs> I, I can't do anything else because I'm still working on paper. I might have to, I might have to take a break. I might have to go to busting my lace. <laughs> busting your lace. I already busted my fabric sewing masks, so I had to move on to hey paper. There, right? Oh, I'm not even going to think about my fabric yet. Jenny, are you spritzing water on that? That's kind yeah. of cool. That looks awesome. Yeah. Missy, I don't have enough. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. And if my husband asks, I surely don't have enough. <laughs> well, you have so to I don't. I, go ahead. Um, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, I've put it out of sight to store it so they can't see how much you do have. Yeah, unfortunately, that doesn't work. You saw my paper rack. You can clearly see. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't have a beautiful manicure. It's because I had my hands all in the gooey dye today. I made a grunge dye. So I don't have, I have gray, gray fingernails and cuticles. <laughs> it looks pretty bad. What is entailed in making in a grunge dye? How do you do that? Um, just, I use brown and black and a little bit of blue and just whatever to make it look real grungy. And then I'll show you some of the things that came out on the papers. It reacted differently. So some of the papers actually turned red and some of the papers turned blue. So it didn't turn out that gray, gray, grungy black I wanted. So not totally. So I'll be grunging them up a little bit more um, with just ink and inking it. So it'll it'll be okay. So yeah, it's pretty crazy. Yeah. Cool. Today, I am working with strips of paper. I took my Caterpillar Pro and I got my stash bin. And when YouTube catches up, you can see I've cut bunches of strips out of my scraps. I'm going to show you laying on my desk here so you can see what I'm going to be working with. That was my prep. That's all I did was chop scraps into strips. Wow, that's a big lag. Oh, me too, Laura. I got my green kit in today. I can't wait to open it. Me too, Laura. I love her, her papers the best. Wow, it's a huge lag. Yeah. It's between uh, StreamYard and, and I've got the paid for StreamYard, so I don't know why it's still that bad. Wow. I put these strips down on my desk like 
three minutes ago and they're still not showing on camera. Wow. Well, I three see them. Minutes? Wow. Uh, are you, have you got your red line run all the way over? Because I can see them good. Yeah, I see them. Yeah, I see oh. them fine. I love the moves. So I'm gonna use these strips to make cards and little like paper flowers. That's my my deal today. Awesome. Is it uh, hi Sandra? <laughs> is it the same thing that I care wants them for? Paper strips? I don't know. What does she want them for? No, she wants fabric. And speaking of oh, which, I'm well, um Jean Peter, I'm gonna include that yarn in the boxes I drop off at Cares, and she can send it to you with your next load. Hi, Sandra. I'll give you an example. I've made one of these already while we were waiting to come on, and let me see if it'll show. How oh, pretty. Now, see, I'm looking on YouTube and I don't see it. <laughs> I don't see it yet. There it is. No, nope, it's still not there. It's nope. online. Are you watching on YouTube or StreamYard? There it goes. I'm no, I have my phone, which is YouTube, and, there and, and I have StreamYard. It's on oh, both of them. Now I finally see it on YouTube. It's a little bit of a glare. Yeah, YouTube has is, is got the lag. StreamYard doesn't. So I just put paper loops. Oh, yeah, and you can like glass magnet too. Yeah, I just glued paper loops together and I just put a button like for the center. And look how cute this is. Like I've got a um, envelope. Look how cute that would be like in a journal or something as an embellishment on an envelope. Super cute and really easy and good way to make your scraps go away. Kim, with that mat, you have to be real careful with your lighting. That's why yeah. I took mine off. It seems like it's a glare. You get terrible glare. Yeah, I do see a glare. Just yeah. Turn it off. Yeah. Can you see my beat? It's thick. I'm trying to squash it down. Can't your what? My B. See, oh yeah, key. Does it look too thick? Let's put it this way. Is that better with the light off? Yeah, a lot better. I mean, you can see it better. Off. Okay, I'll leave the light off then. But I'm going to make cards with the paper strips too. Hi, Arlene. Okay, I'm going to take these off. Hi, Arlene. Welcome. Thank you, everybody, for coming. So what's everybody in the chat working on? Anything? Yeah. Funny? Next week, if you guys want to work along with us, um, we're going to do an altered file folder. For a good cause. Yeah, and every all of them we're going to donate to the hardest auction. Hi, Cheryl. How are you doing? Thanks for coming. Hi, Cheryl. Long time no see. Hi, Cheryl. Welcome. <laughs> So, I put my peacocks up so that you can see them. I have to pull them so I can show them to you. Oh, yeah, I want to see them. I'm hoping that, that um, I noticed that, Judy, on your our picture, you highlighted everything. Yeah. I don't like to do that on, on some of these covers. I'll show you some of the covers a little bit later. But, um... On some of the covers, I would like not not this particular one that I'm working on right now, 
this is I just things that I have around that I'm I'm working on. This one gets a doggy, and then it gets a beehive, and then I'm trying to squash the bees enough that I can glue them back in there and use them also. And I'm going to put two bees, so. It has um, a little bit of me because, you know, I work with wood, so I put wood in it and then the little doggy and I painted and the beehive and the wood and then I added my leaf. This is one cover and then you have a book page in the back of, of the other one. Oh, that is so cute. So um, the bee's not put together yet, but I <laughs> it's leftovers that I'm working with and whatever I didn't pack to take. So I'm gonna have one yellow bee. So which one should I use? Orange. This is the orange. I don't know if you can see it good. Red. White. Bees I know are yellow and black, but I don't have any more yellow. Or pink. I have to take them apart in order to use them because they're too thick. Um, so I can put the bee in there and then you'll see the bird and you'll see the doggy trying to reach the beehive and a bee and a bee. And that's one. This one's easy. It just got to be glued. I got to do it on the other table. I want to show you my, these are my teacups. Oh, I like that. Me too. These are my teacups. I haven't put them on yet. It has a piece of fabric in the back. I'm trying to decide if I should layer first a darker blue paper. Um, whatever I find, it has to be because I'm working with scraps. I'm working with whatever I find around that I have not sold. The things that I was planning on keeping, I um, I packed already. So I had some book covers, so that's why I'm doing book covers. I didn't do the spines, so I can't do the spines. First, I wanted to see how I could design them and see what it brings um, for me. So this is one. I remember when I was a kid, my mom used to shop in the a and I don't know if anybody um, Me too. Okay. <laughs> well, here in New York, we used to shop yeah. in the a &P. This is the other book cover. I made it on a bigger one to see how it would look better because I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet about the paper in the back. And of course you get the same color. And I only painted the book covers. I didn't do anything. And I didn't expand the spines yet because I wanted to see what picture I would. Then I have, there's my pink. I have a pink one. I haven't put it on yet. I'm just playing with them. This is the pink. I have the looking for Pink, pink, pink. And there's the pot in the cup, and it has a, a little gentleman and a little lady there. I don't know if you can see it good. I'll put them over the blue so you can see because it's the same. Oh, that's adorable. Hi, and then I'm going to do a book for it, a book cover. I'm figuring them out as I go along. Mary Hi, said she loves, Thank you for Mary said she loves the tea set, Liz. Oh, thank you. Then there's the elephants, and then I'm going to bejewel oh. them. I started bejeweling, oh but I haven't decided. And it, to oh. me, kind of threw it off. I think I got a little carried away when I was putting the little jewels on them. I love the then, elephant. Yes. I don't, I, this is where I need Judy if you can help me. Sure. Um, I don't know anything about those markers like you highlighted. And some of them, actually, the penguin needs the highlighting. The elephants will need the highlighting. Um, the sewing kit, I'm going to show you the sewing kit. But it's a, it's a complete journal, the sewing kit. Because I was making a journal and then um, for, out of crochet books. And then I made it into a sewing kit. Here's the sewing kit. It's not done, it's just laid out to see if it fits. I might change it a little. I made a little basket. Here's the drawer, I haven't glued them or pasted them, um, except for the pin cushion and um, the little threads there. But here it goes like this. And then it's gonna be the ribbon. And then I have to find some other scraps of lace um, when I'm working with whatever I find around the house. I found the white, but I think it needs color. But you see the black thread? Yeah, I like that. Hold it up. Okay, I'm yeah. going to hold it up. 
I'll show you the mess. It's not put together yet. Okay. Laura says the elephant looks great with all that bling. Oh, thank you, Laura. I, I thought I just went. Yeah, I like. Not so. I, I have to. I like the, I like the green thread, but it's so big. I just love it with the green thread. So, Liz, um, as far as um, outlining your animals, something that you might have on hand that that is at your house where you don't have to go purchase anything, you could use a black Sharpie. Okay. Use a fine point black Sharpie and that would work. I will have to buy some because I used it, all the Sharpies I had and most of them are dry now to write on the boxes. Okay. Well, I mean, there, that's just, I thought maybe if you had something at home, yeah. but what I used was fabric, which is a specific kind of fabric pen um, that covers really well. I like it a lot. And I can, uh, I can write that in the chat so that you can look at it and order it. Um, I got if, it at Amazon. If you could. If you could, that would be great. So okay. these are my book covers. And I have a whole lot of book covers, so I'm just designing them. These are my questions. I'm not, thank you, Judy. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to get the peacock to show you. I keep calling the peacock penguins. I don't know why. <laughs> so I think I should make a penguin because every time I talk about the peacocks to anybody, I tell them about, oh, and, and the penguins, I did the, the bling on the penguins, and they like penguins you did penguins and nobody knows what i'm talking about and then my daughter reminds me mom they're peacocks so <laughs> if you ever say anything about penguins is because that drove me crazy the, the, the penguins i'll get them in a minute i have them wrapped up because i didn't want to dirty them so should i change the black or should i leave it since it's the right size on this one Mm. I know I have to add other trims on the lace because it's the white is just a little, it needs a little color there. And then I'm going to put more on there. But it's supposed to be a sewing box when it's put together and it's supposed to be the sewing box opened. See, if I take this away, this is the cover and here's your pocket. I put some needles in there. I didn't glue anything. I just put them on top. Well, I did glue a few pieces. I put the ribbon. This is going to be cut. So it's going to look like it's tucked under. And then down here, I had a plastic thimble. And we'll go that one. And this one will go over it. And then the buttons will go laying here. But I want to put some regular little buttons down there also to fill up some of that burlap space. And then I ink this one. So that's why the burlap has the inking there. Um, and then I used whatever I found, whatever I had around. Um, so which one? I got the black. The black? It's the right size. I just like the way the green looks because of the green here. But okay. Yeah, I thought you got a lot of pink on the cover and the green and the pink aren't <laughs> right. That shade of green and pink don't go that well. I'm going to grab the penguin. Of the, <laughs> the peacock. I'm going to go uh, see that penguin now. I yeah. want to see that penguin. And she immediately said that penguin too. Huh? She, she just finished saying she wasn't going to say penguin and she immediately said penguin. I, know. So, I, I don't Can't know why wait. I did that. So I have to make a penguin. Um, I have to see if I have any black um fabric left that's not packed thank you judy i'm i'm going to write that down this is the first one it's in pink and you see the bling all through the flowers oh i oh. want to highlight them and this is um this piece here is eyelash trim here's some bling up here this is fabric that i cut up because it it just went. And then this down here is feather. And there's some more bling. That's, that's very gorgeous, Liz. And that's one. This is the pink one. Can you hold it closer? A little oh. bit closer to the camera? Okay, let me see if I do it on an angle because my camera's 
house. Now just, just lift it. Yeah, just lift it up a little bit closer. Okay, I'm turning to the ground. Okay, house there. Ah. Yeah, and I'm you're gonna yeah, you're going to definitely need black to do the outline on that if you do that. Or, highlight it. or white. Oh, okay. So I can buy that type of marker in black or white? May I think you can get it in white, I but know. I would use a paint marker if you're going to use white. And I would test it on something different than that first to see if you okay. like it. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Because I see all the beautiful things you ladies make. And... Um, okay, I have a sister who's an artist, and I'm not an artist. I'm a crafter, and I experiment. So some things just don't come out right, and some things I never occurred to me to, to buy because I just try things. This one's my favorite. A crafter is an artist, just so you okay. know. Okay. Uh -uh. I, I, I. I look as a crafter, and it might not be in any any dictionary. Every anybody finds, but I look as a crafter, as a person who likes to try different things and likes to experiment. That's quite beautiful. Thank you. I feel Thank like you. artists are like I don't feel like I'm an artist because I I don't have the talent to like draw or paint or sketch or you know that kind of stuff. That's like a true gift, and I don't have that. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. Well, Welcome. Well, I don't, I don't draw. I trace, and I cut, and do with shapes, and I make all kinds of, and then I piece my shapes together like puzzles. That's how I made my Raggedy Ann and Andy's dolls. Um, I'll trace. Um, I'll trace five or six different dolls and then I get the shape I want and I get the arms in the position I want the and then I start piecing and I cut them all out and then I piece them together and then when I have the shape I want I glue it together and I make a pattern because I can't mm. draw and that's the only way I can get the correct shape. Yeah but that's that's like sculpting. That's that's yeah. using three dimensional art. You, you guys, you guys, when when you use your creativity in any way, is a form of art. I art, guess isn't, true. art isn't someone who just can draw and paint, and that's no art. An art is someone who creates something from nothing. Well, I, I, guess I, I never looked at it. Me neither. Well, um, now you all know. I, I just, well, yeah, I guess. Thank you. I mean, you know, uh, but that's how I look at it. I look at all these, these, these wonderful, well, they're crafters and they're artists and they do all these things. I just never looked at me myself as as that. I look at other people's stuff and I'm, oh wow, wow, you know, and it's 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 an amazing thing. It to me, it's incredible. Um, and then I try different glues and paints and whatever I, I find or come across or get interested in. And it comes out, you know, sometimes it comes out like that one that I thought was, that I think is so, just so off. I just thought it was off. And um, this one. It's just something about it. It's not, I didn't finish it because it was just something about it. I said, just let me leave it alone. I cut the trunk down from the original side trunk um, yesterday because I thought that would make it look better. If you notice, this trunk is bigger because this is the same pattern. I just experiment. But well, it's like I told two ladies lately that were feeling down because people actually commented on their stuff and told them they didn't need to be on YouTube taking viewers away from the real crafters. Oh, I said, you know what? No. If you, if you like what you're doing, other people will like it too. If you put your heart into it, somebody else will like it. Thank and you. Not, not everybody's going to like it because we all have different tastes. 
That's a horrible thing to do. That's horrible. It that's is. a horrible thing to say to someone that's terrible. You should be encouraging no matter what skill level is or anything like that always. I just don't understand. They might say something like that. That's bad. That's terrible. Shame on that person or those people. Yeah. Instead of discouraging people, try to encourage them to do you know, other things. I'm going to put well, my thank you, ladies, and thank you, and thank, you, thank you for inviting me. I, I, I do all this stuff, and I'm stacking it on the side, and, and, and I'm wrapping it up and set it so I finish them and so forth. I talk with my hands. Sorry about that. And um, <laughs> sometimes I want I say, well, am I crazy? And I just, I just cry. So thank you. Thank you all, really. Thank you for your wonderful comments. And, you just keep doing you and being you because right? everybody loves you. I that's the most my favorite part of seeing other people's work is how they are so passionate about what they love to do. Like that's the best thing. I love seeing how everybody does things differently. Yeah. Yes, Mary. I'm backstage, so come on in. Mary wants to show her Mandela. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Well, with this, with this, um. COVID-19, um, I had to find something to do. When everything packed, I figured the book covers I didn't sell would be perfect to decorate them. So I was trying to find different ways to decorate them. I have a few more ideas. I have a standing up elephant, which I'm working out the kinks. Um, I have a few other ideas, which are, which are because I have tons of book covers. They're Decorate them and then, you know, I didn't know if I should have did the spines, but like this one has a decent spine. This one has a decent spine. But I left them as they were. It's simple to put in a spine and to decorate the inside. So you're right, Arlene. It's mean and it's also uncalled for. If you don't like something, just scroll past it. You don't have to comment That's on right. every thing. That's exactly right. I would never dream of saying something like that to somebody. No. Plus, it doesn't cost anything to be kind to someone else. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. But it costs a lot to be hateful to somebody because you're tearing down their self-esteem. Yep. Yeah, but people who are hateful to each other don't like themselves very much, and so it makes yeah. themselves feel real good. Yeah. They're yeah. either jealous or miserable in their own life. Exactly. That's correct. Very sad. Very sad. I've got my be kind, got my be kind desk plate on my desk right now. Be kind. <laughs> so here. Did you hear me? Come on in. Sometime before we go, I need to show everyone my absolute finished manda mandala that I did. It's all done. Yeah. The one we've been working on so y'all can see it. Mary got inspired and Luz got inspired to do something like it. That's so cool. Very cool. Yeah. Just don't have the time. That was the first time I ever seen anything like that, Judy. And I all I can tell you is thank you. Oh, you're welcome. It made me so excited. I started doing all these things. And I was doing little things. I made lots and lots of paper stuff with my with my stash. I have envelope journals, and I have, I have tons of envelope journals, and all kind of envelope pockets and tags, and oh, tons of. Oh, oh, but Arlene, going to leave. Arlene, does Arlene want to see the Mandela that I finished before you leave, it, Arlene? Where she gotta go? I don't see yeah, that. Arlene says she has to go. Bye, Arlene. You can it right. It doesn't. It doesn't cost anything to keep your mouth shut, too. Exactly. Here, I'll stick it here. It's all done. Mary, you got your camera. Hi, everybody. I'm just going to be here a minute, kids, because I'm not feeling good today at all. As you can see, I've got my oxygen on and the whole shot. You okay. got I wanted to see. I wanted you to see my Mandela that didn't turn out a, a round Mandela. <laughs> I need oh, to turn it this way. Cool. 
Next. Uh, and my camera. I never can find my camera. It's it's right up above me. But anyway, this is what it turned out. It's kind of a cross shape. And uh, it's very pretty. I just, maybe I'll like back it. up a little. There we go. So pretty. Hi, Didn't it turn out pretty? I was so pleased with it. I'm, I I'm like thrilled it. to death with it. And I think it's amazing. That's just one napkin. That's wow. beautiful. So I was just really, really thrilled with it. And I'm not going to take up their time. I just wanted you to see how it turned out since it, you know, I was doing it when we left the uh, look, the last time we was on. And uh, fabulous, Mary. But you guys That's need right. to try this. It, it's really something. It's it's really fun. So uh, anyway, I, I like that. <laughs> I, I am really, really pleased with it. I'm going to finish it up and, and make it really stiff, and it's going on my wall. It is it's going to be hung up. Everybody so. loves it, Mary. Uh, yes, yes it's beautiful. beautiful. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm going back off, girls. Thanks for letting me show it. Sure. Right, thank I'll, you. I'll go back into the chat and try to stay as long as I can, but if I go miss it, it's because I've gone to bed. So, oh, good night. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Wait, where's Judy? Where's Judy? I'm here. I yeah. know. I'll you backstage, your box. <laughs> huh? Oh, my God. That's I'm so funny. your box. I'm backstage? No. Yeah, I'm backstage. I'm oh, looking for okay. Completely. Oh, okay. Mary, so Mary. I was going to show, I was going to show you all the completed project. See if I can get it in in sync here. I like it. So I have to get I have to stand up to do this. Sorry. There we go. So that's the completed project. Um, did all the edging. Wow, as you can that see. Order. Amazing, amazing. I absolutely love it. Okay. Now I she has to love it. Yeah, she has to have a name. I don't know what her name is, but boy, Mandela, look at that in the middle. She is looking at you. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> kind of reminds me of a bird. Yeah, a oh, phoenix, maybe. Cool. Yeah, it's it's uh, it definitely was. Um, I had to really think carefully about the how to how to do the actual um, edging. Wasn't sure what I was going to do, and then as you see, all in here, this was all white where the black was, and once I st I edged the whole thing in black with the white showing, and I did not like it, like it, so I went back in with my pen. Excuse me. I went in back in with the Fabrico pen and colored it all in. And I'm pleased with it. I was very happy. And and Luz, you said you never saw anything like this before. Neither have I. This was just something I played around and tried. So well, thank you. Thank you for sharing with us because it for me it, it, it has been truly inspiring and I am very grateful. Good. I'm glad everyone's liked it. So I'm putting it away now. It's going to go probably on a window or a wall somewhere. I don't know where it's going to go. And I'm going to go back to my grunging up my paper. So Kathy, you can put us all back. Take me off. Take me back. off. I got to get some work. Uh -oh. Aww. My, my fans stopped by to give me my thumbs down. How sweet. That nice. happened as soon as we went live, Kathy. Oh, did it? Yeah. I guess they were sitting around with nothing to do in their pitiful life waiting so they could hit the thumbs down. Oh, yeah. That was right as soon as we opened. I saw it. I wish, wish we knew who that was. I wish I could see the list of who does thumbs up, thumbs down. Oh, but, that, but we do know. I know. Exactly who it is. We do know. That's fine. 
<laughs> so, but it, it's it's always right at the very beginning. I saw, I noticed. So that's fun. Let them do it. It counts. I don't really care because I have a life and they don't. So they <laughs> yep. Any baby. Yep, that's so well, true. I view it just like what we were talking about earlier. Like, if you don't like it, scroll on. There's a million and one channels out there. Why do you have to be hateful and put a thumbs down to someone who's trying to share what they're doing and what they have a passion for? It's just plain rude. Right, exactly. Keep it moving. Plenty of choices out there. I guess some people have no life. Yeah. Job. But we have a life. Yes, we do. And we're having fun with it. Yeah. And well, that's what they're jealous of, too. That's that's okay. So everyone on here, they can they can have fun with us. Hey, I'm having so much fun. I have to sit on my hands, keep it waving, keep from waving at everybody. <laughs> waving at everybody? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's the same my brother used to always have. This is so much fun. I have to sit on my hands to keep from waving at everybody. Oh. <laughs> and, you know, it's funny because I know she's doing it to show, okay, I have another fake account that, you know, I can thumbs down you on, so blocking me don't matter because you don't know this account. If you gotta have fake accounts to start with, you're the problem, not me. Right. Exactly. Oh, I like that. You like what? My little envelope pocket with tags. It's oh. cute. I like it. Mm-hmm. So you got tag in the pocket in the back too. Oh, sorry, JP. Get back to work. <laughs> Love you, girl. Pack those boxes and bags. <laughs> Tote that barge. Thank you, JP. She does do a lot of the fire, too. Oh, I have two freaking tags. I'm doing good. And one pocket. Oh, I got to do a pocket for this one. Shucks. No, I don't. This is a pocket tag. It's a flip in. Yay. Who did we lose? We lost Kim. <laughs> Kim, where'd you go? Kim, did you fall off? Oh, no. I have an air bubble. How is that? Kim fell off the way. Okay. So what else have I got done? <laughs> I am not a huge fan of grunge, but this has been kind of fun doing these grungy pictures. They look really grungy. <laughs> yeah. Looks like fun. It's fun every now and then to go off and do something that you're not used to doing. Yeah. Yeah, here's my grunge so far. These are all my grungies so far. You know? All right, Kim, put your seatbelt on this time so you don't fall off. Uh oh. <laughs> the internet <laughs> flipped for a minute. Oh boy. So these are all my grunge that I'm working on now. So, but I'm having to ink them because the the dye did not come out exactly the right way. So I'll show you the difference. So the dye was a gray black when I put it together. And um, so it should have come out kind of grayish black, but what it did is come out blue and red, purple. It's the weirdest thing. Same, same dye, different paper, just totally different. It's so weird. Um, and then here's, uh, here's another piece that turned blue and, um, just really, really weird. Here's the grayish gunky looking color that it should have been. Um, but on the backside it was blue. 
So when, but the, the actual dye was a black gray color, very dark and on white paper, I mean on white fabric, it was the color I wanted it to be, which um, looked like this. So anyway, so I was disappointed, but hey, there's always ink, you know, ink, ink, is, ink is magical. Yeah, you can always use it for something else. That's right. Well, these are all going to be used in my book, but this is this is good. Inks work good. Hi, Sabrina. I have so many inks, and I think the only thing I use now is my Distress ink and my Distress crayons. I didn't like all the different things you can do with them. Yeah. Did y'all say hi to Sabrina? Yeah, I did. One of these days, we're going to get her to come on with us. Oh, hi, Sabrina. Awesome. Yes, Sabrina, come play. I think Laura said she was coming on this week. Laura Vasquez? Yeah. I've never met her. That'll be fun. Laura's getting a, a, a tripod or a thing to hold her phone so she can come live, is what she said. I wish I knew she needed one. I got an extra one. So what you working on, Sabrina? I need to find my brushes like Judy's using. <laughs> what? I need to find my blenders like Judy's using. I packed them up when we went camping. Oh, camp. yeah. I can't find them. I took them camping with me, so they're somewhere between here and our bay. I got mine at Big Lots. Be I bought mine at Big Lots. Really? Yep. In the makeup section. <laughs> They're on sale at Joanne's right now. The Tim Holtz ones are. Well, if you get the makeup ones, the Dollar Tree sells those. Yeah, I had a set of four for four, like two dollars or something at Big Lots. Hmm. <laughs> Hey, I'm using a mic stand like for the band, Laura. Works great. Who's got their TV on? Not me. Not me. Might be me. Talk to the <laughs> <laughs> I don't I didn't even turn my fan on this time. I hear it very clearly. Okay. So moving on to pages. Can anybody else ink without getting it all over you? Oh, no. I got it on me. All over. I get it on my hands. 
Yeah, I feel like I'm wearing it. Oh, okay, Sabrina. Anytime you want to, though, just yell. I did, um, when I did these, when, um, the put the put the uh, dye on this, the, and then I laid the pictures on top. I laid the pictures upside down, and they um, they transferred. It was really cool. Oh, so, cool. see, here's the here's the transfer. It was cool. It just transferred over. That is <laughs> neat. Yep, that was a lot of fun. I'm not sure how I want to do this page. Oh boy. I probably most likely will do trivia on Monday night, Monday evening, because I don't have the boys Monday. Oh, that's good. You don't have the boys. Uh oh, that paper I can't use in a fold. Well, that's good to know. How come? Uh, because it's very fragile and cracked. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I didn't know that. But that's okay. That's how to. That's how to find out. So I'll be able to. I'll be able to do something else with it. That's you cool. always use it in clusters. Yeah. I hope you know she didn't have to mute just because of the TV. Well, yes, we can't have the TV in the background. It's copyright strikes. Yeah, that, that's why. I I come oh. back and forth. I'm listening, and I'll type in too, and I'll go back and forth. Because it's not me, it's it's one of my family members. Oh, okay. And it's gotcha. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, this one too is a little bit brittle. Can't use that one in a page. I'll figure out something else. I didn't know that about not having a TV on in the background because of copyright. Oh, no, you can't have a TV or radio. Oh, I had no idea. <laughs> you know, I was hooked on this vintage photo for so long. And I started, I bought the walnut, and now I'm hooked on it. I like it a lot better than the vintage photo. It's darker. Yeah, yeah. I like the walnut better, too. I was hooked on vintage photo until I got the walnut, and then I switched to <laughs> I use both. So I'm sad with this one. I don't think I can do anything with like this. Oh, maybe so. That's not a good sound to hear when you're crafting. <laughs> Something just slid. I was about to glue it and it just slid right down. Off of what I was trying to do. That's better. Are they bows, Kim? What? Are they bows? They're like paper flowers. You can oh. click on me if you want and I'll show you. I've got another card made with the paper strips too. Okay, looks like a bow. I love those choices you put together. Are you going to um, click on me or no? Yeah, it's she just did. Oh, okay. It's just my YouTube is slow, I guess. Yeah, so I just like I said, I, I 
picked up like um, a bunch of scraps out of my scrap bin. So you can see these were coordinating papers that I've had forever. They were like a Stampin' Up paper line. And it was from when my daughter had a nautical room. So I had some left over and I just cut them and I hate to measure. So I didn't even measure my strips. So some are skinny, some are wider. I didn't care. I wanted it to be more not so uniform looking just to give it a little more interest. So um, I made like this card I made is just, I put the paper scraps. This entire card is made from my scrap bin. So I used the white, um, white paper from my scrap. So I just folded it in half, that was a scrap. Then the silver metallic was a scrap. So I just mounted that as like a background. And then I just glued my paper strips down. And then, um, the one um, I just took here, I put some foam dots behind it, and then I cut the little notch out to make it look like a paper flag. And then I used this sticker that's supposed to look like a wax seal for a little bit of interest. And then I just cut a little double bow with some tool and some ribbon. And this card was 100% made out of my scrap bin. Cool. Cool. And that's just, you know, like if you need to give a gift real quick or something, you know, I, you could swipe it with ink too if you want. But if you need to like, you know, just give a little gift or something and you just want to put a card in with it. Uh, I mean, that took like all of five minutes to make that, maybe more. I don't know. Um, and then this one, I took the long and skinny envelope. This is what it looks like. And I thought, let's try something different. So I glued the paper scraps down on the envelope first. And I did swipe this envelope with the navy ink. Um, and then I took the paper strips. <clears throat> I'll show you guys how to do one. It's really, really simple. So if you're going to make a loop, like you use your same coordinating strips because I think it looks cuter. So you don't have all the loops the same color. Um, and then these, you can have these, like whatever size you want the little flower to be um, is how long you make your strips. So you could make this smaller by having shorter strips. And you could put more loops than I did. I just stopped there. I liked the way it looked. So you're just going to take a strip. I'm going to wait till YouTube catches up. Thanks, Luz. You're going to take a strip, and then you're just going to put a couple of dots of your glue on the end. Wow, it's still not caught up on mine. Wow, you got really slow internet. Yeah, it's weird right now. Okay, so then now you're going to just put the loops together at the end and then just, you know, pinch it to let it dry for a sec. And then once you've got that set, you kind of want to flip your little circle around that you've got now. And then on the inside where you just glued it together, just put another little couple dots of glue. Don't use too much glue because then it'll be all over the place. And then you kind of want to flatten it and then pinch it in the center where you just put the glue. So this is what you end up with. And then just pinch it in the center here so it stays that way. So what you end up with is one of your little loops. And then you just make a bunch of these, you know, and like, as you can see, this one's double-sided paper. So it looks even cuter because you can see the underlying pattern underneath in your kind of flower too. So then you just glue a bunch of these together and then like use your imagination. You could put a button, you could put a sticker, you could put a paper flower, a flat back pearl, a little joiner, whatever you want to do to make your centers. And all it was was a few strips of paper. Cool. I ended up making the envelope with the, the strips and then the little flower on the top. And then what I'm going to do is make a tall skinny card um, with the same theme with the paper strips that fits inside this envelope. And then I have like a stamp that says sail away. And I think I'm going to use that for the card and then I'll go inside the envelope. Cool. So really easy. Like if you're bored one night in front of TV, just sit and cut the strips and glue the, the loops. And then you can sit and put the flowers together when you're in your craft room you know, assembling them or whatever, or just sit and cut the strips um, 
and you can like, like I use, you can use two things. This, I would use my glue um, because it's better for paper, but this takes a while to dry and it gets sticky. So what I'm using for the purposes of the live is my um, double stick tape. So this way I'm just sitting and putting the, the tape on the back of the strips that I want to use. I can cut the strips, strips all different lengths, and then you can cut the little notch out if you want to make them flags instead of straight strips. And then just put your double-sided tape on the back of all of them and then just put them down the way you want them and glue them down. Super easy. There's like no skill involved in that. You just need glue and scissors and paper. So super easy. And then it's cute. You're okay, so welcome. You're getting to use your, your paper scraps and make, you know, get more out of them instead of just throwing them away. So I'm busting my paper scraps is what my, my deal is. So that's what I'm working on. Hi, Mary. So yeah, those are the flowers. It's like paper flowers with loops. Well, so far, I don't see any difference between the pay, paid for stream yards and the free one. Do you guys? I have the free one. I don't know what, what they tell you. Was, what does it tell you that the difference is? They have is? a lot of different features, but I'm not seeing them. Oh. oh I'm still using the free one, so... Oh, really? That does not surprise me at all. What? The message. What message? Oh, what I said? Yeah. Um, you can take it off of me. Oh, you did take it off of me. Cool. Is Mary still here? Mary Forrester? I forgot to ask if they were sharing the link in the group. I don't know why, but it doesn't let me. When I try to put it up, it gives the link to my uh, stream yards to come in. Oh. Let's see. I'm going to try really, really, really hard now not to control this bag too bad. <laughs> How was that? Did, did it kill you? Y'all didn't hear it, did you? What? Did you hear the bag crinkle? No. Yay, I did good. <laughs> I was trying not to drive everybody crazy with a wrinkly bag. Okay, bone folder, where'd you go? Hello. Liz said she's still using the free stream yard too. Well, you only allow so many days a month with the free one. So I went ahead and paid for it so that we could go, you know, every week and not have to worry about running over our time. Well, we could only switch to his channel because it's only so many hours, right? Per, per no, month. now I've got the free one. I mean, I've got the paid for one. But if you do the free one, it's, it's like 20 hours a month, I think. Yeah, like if we went to your channel and on the free one, then you would be using your hours. Your free hours. So I if you... Care. Ran out, you couldn't go live. Where is my bone folder? I just had it. Yeah, Luce, I'm in the same boat as Luce. Luce says she hasn't streamed since before the pandemic, and I haven't either. So I'm I haven't ever streamed, so here I am. <laughs> yes. So, Kathy, you should not pay and use the free one, and we'll just go like take turns, and nobody wants to pay for it. Well, I paid for it so I can have other lives too. No, it's this one. Like when I want to do a sale again, I want to have my moderator backstage with me. Yeah, that's a good idea. 
Luz, that is so cute. Oh, I like that pink and black a lot. Right? Any day y'all want to go live on your channel and invite me, I'd be happy to come over. I'm trying to get up to 1K, so I might take you up on that. Just don't do it Thursdays at 2. Nope. <laughs> no. I would like that also. I would like to stream some more. Um, I don't want to do sales right now. Um, but besides that, I don't want to do sales. I want to just stream and, and, and have fun. And thank you for inviting me again. Oh, um, thank you for coming on. Yeah. That, that that it's wonderful. And thank you for helping me with my ideas because I was here with nothing to do. Um, the crafting helps a lot. It really, really does that. And I enjoy it. Yeah. I enjoy it. I enjoy having people on more than just going on by myself. Going on by myself, I tend to tire out faster. Yeah. And I still have a lot of medical stuff going on, so I enjoy having others on. Well, thank you for inviting us. Anytime. Three, four. I'm gearing up for a challenge, but I want to wait a little bit longer till the pandemic is a little more settled down. That could be a long while, but what do you have people send this stuff to you? Um, maybe just like a Rolodex card, but yeah. So I want to wait a little bit for the mail. Well, I'm going to um message you. And um, we'll talk about mail. <laughs> okay, Kim? Yep, absolutely. Okay, we'll talk about mail because um, I yeah. went out today. Oh, that was an adventure. I couldn't believe those people. Yeah, I don't want to do it until it's okay to mail because I got like a lot of prizes to give away and stuff. So I want to be able to mail my prizes too. So. Yeah, I was. I it was just. It was just spooky today. It just really was. It was just spooky. I couldn't believe that. You know. Yeah, it's, it's not. It's, I don't get it. It's just like I. I what Brian, what my husband tells me all the time is that, you know, I have that golden rule ingrained in me as a, from a kid. Do unto others, and so to me, it's just like a common courtesy thing. Like you wear the mask not only for yourself but to protect everyone else, and it's like not really that big of a deal. Like you can get a bandana at the dollar store for a dollar, you know. Like it's not like it has to be a cost thing or whatever. And it just seems like nobody would want to get this. So I don't understand why people are not doing it. It just seems like a courtesy thing to me. Nobody believes it now. They think it's all a big hoax. Well, it's not a big hoax. All those people did not die from hoax. That's, you know, I get people Like, I understand there's some people that don't want to be controlled by government. I do understand that. But it, this is not about the government. This is about public health and safety. Well, to me, it's about not bringing anything home to my grandsons, and that's all, the only reason I do it. Right. Like, you, nobody should nobody should want to bring anything home to their loved one. Is that kind of the point? Because it's very difficult for me to breathe with COPD and that mask on. Right. And it's not easy for me either. I don't, I don't enjoy it at all, but I, I'd rather do that than get COVID. I mean, it's not the government telling you to wear face coverings. It's the scientists. It's Dr. Fauci. You know, I mean, I agree with you. I, I agree. We 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 are protecting ourselves, our families, and others. Yeah. 
I mean, what about the people that have to go to work at the grocery stores that have to go to work? I mean, they, they have to wear a mask at work for your protection. So doesn't it kind of make sense it should go the other way? Yeah. By the way, if y'all didn't know it, you can put regular paper in a microwave for 30 seconds and get the crispy sound. Oh, that's cool. I haven't ever really tried that. Put it between two pieces of paper towel because believe it or not, there is moisture in paper. Yeah, there is some, yeah. Oh, that's good to know. Yep. Yeah. This thing gets clogged all the time, but I like the little loops. In the right color. Everybody hold your ears. Okay. <laughs> I need to craft a lunch. Ah, oh, I did it. I did it. Is that why you need the paper rack, Kathy, so you won't have craft a lunches? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to put something there. Yeah, that could be bad if you have a whole paper avalanche. That that could be really bad. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put it on me for a second. I'm going to show what I made. Where am I? There I am. Dried flowers, guys. Easy, simple. Best thing I ever did. <laughs> I made some little journaling cards, and I haven't cut them all out yet. But you put a microwave plate down, or in my case, I used the um, cutting boards. Put one down. Put the layer of flowers and um, leaves and stuff I wanted to dry down. Okay, you put the board, then you put a paper towel, then you put down the layer of what you want to dry, then you put another paper towel, then you put another board on it. You microwave them for a minute and a half. And, like, if you have something like, um, uh, where is it? I have some big ones here somewhere. You have, like, a bigger flower, and you just keep checking it if it doesn't do it in a minute and a half then just put it back in for 30 seconds at a time. This is a white rose. And these are all the flowers my best friend sent me when I had my surgery. And I didn't want to throw them out when they were starting to wilt, so I dried every one of them going to use them in my journals. But that was that funny. My, little, daughter, my daughter loved that. Um... I'm going to talk about what you said about the microwave. I don't know how she does it, but she has put some in the journal she had made. But I yeah. love that idea. Thank you. It is very fast and easy doing it in the microwave. And, you know, sometimes if you put them between book pages, they kind of get funky. <laughs> so, you know, they kind of get squishy and gutty looking. This just immediately yeah. dries them out. We have paper presses or flower presses too, Kathy. Yeah, I have one. This is Do easy. They work? Do they work? No. Well, it does if you want to wait forever for them to press and dry out. I mean, once they press, you have to wait a good amount of time, like weeks, for it to get completely dry. Mm -hmm. so, but after they dried, I went ahead and laminated them so I could use them in windows in my project. You don't have to laminate them. You can just wait until you get ready to use them and then put them in a window. I just went ahead and did the laminating for storage purposes. I can just stand them up. If you, you're also risking them cracking and breaking if you just put them all in a box. Yeah. I got a lot out of that one order of flowers she sent. And that's kind of cool. They get to live on. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, I just wanted to give that little tidbit of information. Love it. Yep, well, thank yeah. you. You know me. I found it very relaxing making them. I can't get enough flowers. All the ones I got from Mother's Day, I'm gonna be drying those probably tomorrow. Yeah, I've got some pretty peach roses for Mother's Day for my oldest. They're gorgeous. Well, be Saturday. We're going to Cares tomorrow. I don't have enough days in a week. No, you don't. Kathy, where are you going tomorrow? To Care Heart. I was going to say, you might not want to. Wow. That's amazing that you can travel. I, 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 I know you live in the same state, but, but it's not in the time today. The city it's is not, horrible. It's not super close, though, for me or Kathy to get there, so we try and usually meet in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. We are in the same state. Yes, yeah, yeah. So that's that's wonderful. That in itself is wonderful. Um, did you know that, you know that Fred's dining room is open? Get out. Yeah, well, it is, but... 25% um, capacity. Yeah, yeah, it is. They have a um, their policy. Um, you have to you wash your hands and you wear gloves before you serve yourself, which is a good. I'm glad they did that. Yeah, but that I'm is not. I'm not going anywhere where they have um, a buffet yet. I'm not ready for that. Kathy just wants those fried green tomatoes. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys are you guys meeting up tomorrow? No, I'm just taking some stuff to Kara's house. Oh, all the way down to Fort Myers? Well, we're actually going to Naples. Oh, wow. So I'll just be dropping it off on the way there. Oh, okay. Some things that I have made up for the auction that the box is just entirely too big to mail. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Naples is on the way. Fort Myers is on the way to Naples. Yeah. How long will you be down there? Um, we'll probably be there for like a couple of hours and then drive back. Yes. Oh. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that at all. Yeah, that's a long drive. Yeah, I think so too. I am not looking forward to it at all. I thought they were going to a park or something. Yeah, we are. Just for a couple of hours? Yeah. Oh, that's too much driving in one day for me. No. Nope. Well, it's the one he's going to be volunteering at, so... He needs to go down there and do some paperwork and stuff. And can I just say, I can't wait for September to get here. Why September? He's going to be volunteering for September and October. I'm not. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, are you not going to go? No. Oh, okay. I just can't do it anymore. It's hard, I know. It's too hot. I don't know how we do it in the heat. I got. I just get too sick. I just can't do it. <clears throat> I got Amy pay for na 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 na. I got two Amy pink packs. Yeah, I got the pink ones. I got the blue ones. The purple ones are coming. Hey, Lisa, welcome. Hey, sure, Shannon. Hi. Welcome, welcome, everybody. You guys, we're not ignoring you if you come in and we don't speak right away. Just that we're, you know, we've got these delays, so we're not seeing everybody. <coughs> I 
and a little bit of white. I need to get some black paper and some white paper because I'm not sure what color I'm going to use for it. Beauty. Yes. Are you cutting fabric or paper? Fabric. But oh. I also cut paper like this. Do you really? Yes, I do. Oh, wow. Oh, I need to close my curtains. Right there. We'll get some paper. We'll be here. Kathy, I want you to know I was a good girl at Joanne's yesterday. I only spent three dollars and eighty cents over my budget. And I haven't been to Joanne's in like two years and I was in and out in under an hour. Like amazing. Wow. wow. I know. I did really, really good. <laughs> that is pretty awesome. I know. I was like, wow, I could have spent more time, but you know, hubby came and found me because he went to the he went to Aldi next door while I was in Joanne's and then he went to Aldi, then came and found me, and then I, you know, once he's in the store, I have limited time, so I have to hurry. Yeah. <laughs> you know how that goes. Peter would come and find me and say, I'm going to go up front and have a seat. Like, oh my God, I'm dying. Will you please hurry? I'm back. I'm not sure what color will make it stand out more. So. Nope, I don't want to do that. Hmm. Okay. You should go though, Kathy, if you find one in Naples, because a lot of the gardening stuff is 70% off now. Where? At Joanne's. Oh, we have one here in Tampa. Oh, I didn't know. I thought um, I thought you were the one that said there wasn't one near you. No, we don't have a Hobby Lobby. Oh, right. I do. <laughs> near me. I have a Hobby Lobby near me. Now I have a Joanne's near me. I don't know about Michael's yet. And there's a Tuesday morning. Oh. Mm -hmm. I've got two Tuesday mornings. I live right behind Michael's. But I'm just not, I'm not a yet. huge fan of Michael's. I'm not either. Me neither. I was pretty impressed with Joanne's, though. Those paper pads I got for $3 and change was crazy good. Yeah, I like their sales. I really do like their sales a lot good. better. And I mean, I got that $15 jelly roll for nine bucks. That was pretty good too. So now I can practice my quilting. They had a ton of fabric on sale. The fabric place was the most crowded part of the store. <laughs> Don't tell me that, please. No, they did. They had a ton of fabric. I don't need fabric. Oh my God, I don't need fabric. Really? Bat batting was on sale. Fat quarters were BOGO. Oh, God. Yeah, the jelly rolls were seriously on sale. It had a lot of fabric on sale. Wow. A lot, it, a lot of the cheap fabric, though, like the really discounted fabric was winter. You know, like if you do like flannel stuff or fleece for the boys, that was like 70% off. Oh. 
They had some cute prints like for jammies or you know, stuff like that. I don't really, but I like to use it kind of stuff in fabric books. Because now they're growing so fast that as soon as you make something, they've outgrown it. And yeah. Nicholas and uh, Anthony are wearing the same size. Oh, my. It's crazy. Okay. So what are you making now, Mrs. Judy? What now? What are you making now? I'm trying to decide I'm trying to decide how to cover the inside of this book, this um journal. Oh. Um, so I've got my signatures, got my signatures ready. Um, it'll have two of the, two of these types of signatures that I, that I made. And then it'll have three of these, um, already inserts because it's the kind that my son-in-law uses. Uh -huh. Um, I'll do it. Um, I'll do it Midori style. So I'll have five, um, elastic rings here so five five pieces can go in here um so i'm trying to decide if i'm going to cover this whole thing this whole thing in this fabric and just trim cut the edges and make them make them raggy oh this is fabric this this was fabric that looked like this and then I, when I was doing the dyeing and everything today, um, I used this fabric underneath it. So I got this grunge fabric. So, mm. so it turned out pretty cool. Yeah, the, very cool. The thing I did, I shouldn't have cut that piece out because that's, that's the nice piece. <laughs> that's a nice section. This was the piece I cut out. That's the piece I cut out, man. I could have put that right over there. <laughs> so oh, that's okay. That's okay. I can grunge it up more if I have to. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to lay this on here and glue this whole thing down to the inside of the book, into the into the spine and everything, and then crease it, crease it in the crease with my, and then and then kind of rag it out. That'll be kind of cool. Yeah, really. Especially for a guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's for my son-in-law. Hmm. I like that idea. Yeah, I yeah. have a son-in-law now, too. I should think about that. This is that um, kit that I got from Rosemary Morris, the industrial kit. Yeah. That I got that. this month. Yeah. So all the papers that I was working on, those all came from her kit. I just had to. Those fix are nice all papers. Up. Yeah, fix them all up and sprayed them and. Let's see how that goes. Hey, Laura. Hi, Laura. Laura's here. Hi, Laura. Is Laura Vasquez here, too? We got two Lauras. She was. I think she is. Why don't okay. you she might have had to go. Okay. Yeah, there's Laura, number one. 
There's the other Laura. There's Laura, Laura number one, Laura number two. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I just say senior and junior. Senior and junior, uh-oh. I just say Laura V or Laura F. Okay. Kathy, Kathy, did you check your weather for tomorrow? Because we're going to have crappy weather tomorrow. Oh, yep, we are. Well, we're going to have rain. Crap. I guess I'll be going Saturday then. Yeah, it's supposed to be crap weather tomorrow here. So. <sighs> it got very cold here today. This morning it was really, really nice. How and cold? Good afternoon. How cold? Make me jealous. Yeah. I because I'm, I'm being jealous of that. That was bad. It got really cold. I had all my windows open this morning. And right before we started, about three, it got so cold. And, and I had to close all the windows. Like 60s cold or colder? No. 60s is not cold. 60s is not cold. Um, it had to drop quite a bit. I don't know. I didn't look at the temperature, but I'm sure it must have dropped quite a bit because I have cold, and I don't get cold. I'm usually so hot. Um, I think it's sixties is pretty cold in Florida. <laughs> it's not cold though. Like I, I'm, yeah, I'm a New Yorker at heart, so sixties is not cold for me. Cold no, for me. Not cold for me. No, my dad called me the. Um, Polar bear of the family because I would never be cold. Luce, I, I, I flew into New York one time with capri pants on and flip flops and no jacket in the winter. I my family cold. members were like, Oh my God, please tell me you bought real shoes with you. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yes, I did. That's what I would have said. Yeah. They're like, please tell me you packed a coat and actual shoes. I'm like, yes, I did. I never did wear my coat, though. I, I like being cold. My entire winter wardrobe now fits in a suitcase, and that's where it stays. <laughs> I don't have a winter wardrobe at all. If I'm going somewhere where I'm going to need it, then I'll take it out. Yeah, I have some sweaters, but really winter is just like, you know, sweatpants and a T-shirt. For us. I have a hoodie. I have a little hoodie, and that's all I have. Yeah. <laughs> that's I, don't have a, thing. I don't think because I have a winter jacket. I think I have a vest. I don't have an actual winter jacket. I do have a hoodie, though, yeah. I don't think I have a coat anymore. I know I've got jackets, but. Yeah. Usually, when I get to New Jersey, I have to buy a coat or a jacket because it's. It is weird air up there. It's just bitter. Mm -hmm. Summer is bitter hot, and then the winter is bitter cold. I left, my, I left my coat in New York the last time I was there because I'm like, why bother having to pack this in a suitcase? Because it's going to be hot when we get off the plane. The only time I ever wear it is in New York. So I'm just going to leave it in your closet, okay? And they're like, yep. I'm like, okay, good. So I don't have to bring it next time I go. In the winter. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah. I mean, why bother? Because I never wear it here. Yeah, that's true. Well, by that moment, my sister-in-law, she would end up giving it away. <laughs> <laughs> why do I have this? Who does it belong to? No, I can just get rid of it. <laughs> yeah, you could leave one in Virginia. I don't really need one up there. Most I would use is like a sweater or a hoodie. Man, did, you bring, did you bring one when you went to that wedding? I think it would, was it in Jersey you went? No, the one in Colorado. <laughs> no, the one you, you got sick at when you were at Peter's family's wedding or whatever. Oh, yeah, the one in Jersey. No, I think that was summertime. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, Colorado, yeah, it was snowing, it was cold, it was bad. I loved every minute of it. I love it too. We live in the wrong state. Yep. I made a little snowman family and put it on the deck at the hotel room. 
My son was having a ball. Peter was dying. But doesn't, doesn't he come from up north too? Yes. Born and raised. He can't take it. He says, "Why well, I moved to Florida. Get away from that. <laughs> well, sorry. I love it. I love the snow. Oh, I absolutely yeah. love the snow. I do too. I don't like snow. I live in New York. I was raised here in New York. <laughs> and I don't like snow. But I just pray every winter it doesn't snow. Yeah, Laura, I hear you. It does hurt the bones when it gets so cold. Yes. It does do that. That's what Pete says. It, it hurts his arthritis. Yeah, it does do that for people with arthritis and stuff. It does. I don't know. Something about the air, though, the, the cold air in your face, it just makes me feel alive. Like, it just... Ugh. Breathe, makes me, makes breathe. me breathe. <laughs> you breathe better. It's not so humid like it is here. It's better in the cold air. Yeah. Yeah. And like the water is so much better there than here. Oh my gosh. Well, the water is the best here. Anywhere yeah. in any state. That, yeah. That's true. That's oh what God. I mean. The water there is amazing compared to here. Love drinking New York water. My favorite loose also though is Adirondack water and they don't sell that here. I love Yesenia, you live in the same um, town as my family members that have my coat <laughs> for when I come to visit. <laughs> but I, I love Adirondack water and you can only get it in New York too. It's my favorite. It's flavored bottled water. It's so good. Trust me, I look online to buy a case and ship it here, but you can't ever find it. Love that stuff. You gotta make friends with someone in one of your grocery stores that does some ordering. I can't even remember the name of the grocery store that was there. Wow, I can't believe it. What? I guess COVID doesn't pertain to solicitors going door to door. Just had a guy come knocking on our door wanting us to sign up for ant treatment. I said, are you serious right now? You're not even wearing a mask and you're going door to door? Oh, my God. You're not even allowed to solicit in here. Oh, well, I was just over here doing with your neighbors. I see you're soliciting. Leave. That's not very safe. No, it's crazy because somebody's doing you don't even have on a mask. I don't care which neighbors that you're working at. Go to their house and work there, but don't come over here knocking on my door. Yeah, exactly. Especially when you've got something you can spread or you may have. I got babies, people. Stay away. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just them, Kathy. You have health conditions that you don't need to be around it either. Yeah, but I don't want nothing happening to my babies. I don't, I don't want anything happening to you or your babies. Exactly. Well said. Well said, Kim. <coughs> oh, come on. The stormtroopers are coming to get us. Ooh, my new laminator will be here Saturday. I got a big laminator with the um, cutting machine on top and a corner puncher on it. Cool. The one I'm using now I've had since my teaching days. It's time to be replaced. I moved it. I'll put it back in place. 
<laughs> yeah, that's my ringtone, Laura. Yeah. It's Darth Vader at Kathy's house. Yeah. I need a darker pink than this. That's the wrong shade. This is the right shade. Well, it's lighter. Oh, let's try this. Actually, I wish the phone had rung while he was at the door. I would say, I think you better run. <laughs> <laughs> They're coming for you. I got this um, vintage washi tape on Amazon. You ladies that live in Florida, do not buy it. <laughs> I already did buy some. Let me see if it's the same one that I bought. That's what? the same one. Oh, my God. Oh, it is a nightmare. I got the same one. That's funny. You have as much trouble with it as I am? Uh-uh. Mine doesn't look like that. When you're trying to peel it off, it doesn't look like that. It'll go straight for a little while, and then all of a sudden, it just starts tearing everywhere it wants to. Hmm. I never got it started. What are you up to today, Miss Laura? For you um, that just came in, next week we're going to be making stuff, altered file folders to donate to the um, Defy auctions. So if y'all want to work along with us, have your stuff ready. Yeah, they have to teach me how to do one. I don't know how to do it. Judy, you can, we need to teach Judy something. <laughs> you can handle it, Judy. The journals that you make, you can easily handle those. Just consider, just think of it as a big pocket. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. So, We're, does it count if I have to go buy something because I don't have any anything? We're busting stash. I don't have any file folders. Really? Uh, yeah. No. We're altered file folders like you can use legal or letter size whatever like they have them at the Dollar Tree so you don't have to spend a fortune and we're going to decorate them and maybe sew on them whatever um, stuff them with you know tags and ephemera and load them up with pockets and tucks and different things and then we're going to donate them to um, to care so she can sell them at the Disabled Artist Foundation auction well, those that want to donate can donate. Those don't don't have to. Laura V was taking a nap. She said, "Which Laura were you asking, Kathy?" But Laura V was taking a nap. <laughs> All of <I'll> you. <be> <laughs> Any of you didn't hear it before? I have to tell you, this last auction, um, Cares auction, I spent entirely too much money. <laughs> yes, you did, girl. I was like, go, Judy. Oh, oh, my, yes. oh, my God. When I got the invoice, I thought, okay, I should be okay where I think I was. I got the invoice, and I said, oops. <laughs> I was like, go, Crispy. Yeah, that happened to me a lot. <laughs> uh, I call those surprise invoices. 
That doesn't happen to me because I don't have time to bid because I can't keep everything caught up if I'm trying to bid too. I did good this sale though. I didn't go overboard. You did. You kept asking me and you did good. I can't wait to see my mystery bag though. Thank you, Laura. That was Kathy's idea. She said fabulous idea, Kathy. Oh, well, thank you, ma'am. Oh, you mean I didn't, your, you mean oh, your I didn't do the mystery bag. You mean the angel bag? Yeah, the angel bag. It's not really a super mystery though. Like, um, you know, she'll if she knows you, she'll send stuff she knows you like. And um, if there's things like I know I made up a bunch of tassel kits that are going in the angel bags. Oh, I hope I don't get one of those. I made fifty of those and then oh, wow. um, and then, you know, some other things. I made sixty drunk journal kits to go in the angel bags. So there's different things. Yeah, you can ask for, um, you can tell her, you know, do you want paint or paper or jewelry, you know, or all three or just one or whatever. Good for you, Laura. You got random, so you get whatever. That's cool. I said paint. No, I said that I craft with paint and paper, no jewelry at all. Most people actually say paint and paper. Not many people say jewelry. I but that's fun bags of jewelry sitting around here that well, this, I bought thrift stores. But this month, um, is it this month? One of these months, um, Jean Peter's going to be sending out the angel bags. Welcome back, Mary. Okay, Jean Peter, if you're still listening, I don't want that pin either. <laughs> No, but JP has like, oh my gosh, loads and loads of stamps and ink pads and stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's got loads and loads. So whatever month she's doing the angel bags, hello, stamps and inks. I hey, got, welcome back, Mary. I haven't gotten an angel bag yet. I might. I'm trying to bust my stash. I'm not buying any more stuff. Yeah. yeah. Sure. After after I after that, yeah. you shouldn't. I know, but you you may want to wait and say that till after next month because next month is like um, dress making and millinery and you know all that kind of stuff. Millinery. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me. We'll go get yeah. that. Yeah. So you might want to wait till you know July before you say that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm not claiming anything for next month. The next month is going to be, it's on. <laughs> I'm ready. Well, I'm trying to stay within the budget, so I hope I can. I did pretty good this time, and there were a lot of things I liked and a lot of things I wanted, but I, I stood in control. Well, it was kind of, it was easy to stay in control when, you know, like all the good stuff was going for hundreds of dollars this time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Except really? for me, I couldn't control myself. When she was bidding, I just left the room. I know. <laughs> Crispy gets caught up, though, I think. I think Crispy gets caught up when she sees that and she, like, gets into the, you know, swing of the auction and she's like, I have to have it. <laughs> yeah, well, I wanted, there was a couple things I absolutely wanted and nobody was getting it. That was mine. <laughs> Is it showing on camera yet? I haven't put what? my trick. On it. What is it? It's a top nice hat. hat. It's nice. a large top hat. Oh, um, very nice. I still have to put my trims on. I have some smaller ones I made. I got to do all the trims on all of them. I know these, where you got that idea. <laughs> yeah, these are going to care too. <laughs> and I didn't get it from you. I got it from the other one. <laughs> the other one? Huh? You want to see mine? Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's show and tell time. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, wait a minute. Did I see something? Laura said she didn't have no stamps. <laughs> I saw those stamps. Actually, I sold most of mine. I need to restock my stamps. I know. I do too. Oh, look. Now, you see the bottom? Wait, I don't see it yet. Yeah, oh, you're the leg. You got leg. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm on. Uh, oh, oh my! Oh, 
Look at the dragonfly. Oh, Liz, Gorge. Gorge. That is beautiful. Love it. That's one. This is made with the things that, like I told you, the things that while we were packing that we weren't sure we were going to dispose of or not. Mm -hmm. This was what we just made it. This is Buster Bag. I have, um, that was, um, you know, um, when you, New Year's Eve? Yeah. You know, New Year's Eve, you know, they had those hats that you buy? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, we took the hat apart and see how yeah. smart this is, you know? Yeah. I'm about to. Okay. This one, this is the, the feather. It goes on at the end. But you see? Oh, cute. Laura says, it goes, witchy Laura says, now she's got to make a hat. You, you guys have inspired her. Yay. Yesenia says, beautiful. Witchy says, so gorgeous. And then we left it that so because the butter does the butterfly, you know, they had trail. So we let the beads window. That's stunning, Liz. That's really, really nice. You did great, Liz. I, I only have two. Hey Kathy, who does she put to shame right there? <laughs> Did I give you that other hat? It's in my craft room. I took okay. a picture of it. Okay. Did you not see when I posted some pictures of my craft room? It's in that picture. I didn't pay attention. But that <laughs> way, too. I, no, I, you never, you never you. like on my post or comment anything or any of that. I know. I don't get them. Well, hmm. I took you other things. You want to see what I made? What else I made? All I do is yes. this. Of course, I, I, don't go online. I don't go online. My daughter gave me a shirt, and I like this shirt. I'm not to wear it because it wasn't me, but here it is. It's the shirt, and this is um, a recycled box, and then whatever paper I had available. Out of the shirt, I made uh fabric clip. It's not finished. Okay. I used whatever paper I had laying around. I made two pockets. My oh. daughter would tell me if she gave me a shirt and I made a journal out of it. I'm just no, saying. I told her, and I told them this is the inside. This one gets tied with that's the inside of the shirt. She didn't give you that shirt. Well she gave me the shirt. My daughter sent me a shirt and skirt, and I have never in her this life sent me a skirt. I like the button, so I put it here. It's really pretty. It's this beautiful. This is the inside. Here's the other inside. I use it goes this way actually. I'm showing. I put. I sold this. I sold the sleeve, but I sold it kind of sloppy because you know, I'm experimenting here. So I added some lace. And then I put different things inside this one. And it's whatever paper, whatever scraps of paper I had. I had um, this, like, there's nothing specific, just whatever I had available. I made a, a, a pocket here with um, the pocket. And then I didn't measure them. I cut them and I used the fabric I cut. So I added a little decoration, let the excess go over to the other side. I used whatever paper was handy. Um, I uh, collaged this onto a piece of paper. And then I made it a tuck. And then I stuck that there. That was on something else I had little nothing specific about it just that i use the shirt i try to use as much of the shirt as i possibly could um because you know, another fabric flip but a different one it's not the same as the one and it does have five pieces but i count one two three four and the four i counted as five the other one has five pieces too but i like the little snap 
And then as I think of things, I'll put them in there. I have a couple of belly bands I'm working on because I get bored. And then I try something else. So I have a total of projects everywhere. Different things that I just work on. I said, oh, what can I make with this? This is in my way today. So that's what I'm going to work with. And that's what I do. It is beautiful. Love it. So I made these two. I as I said, all this time I just stay home. I'm I'm on unemployment and I stay home. I don't go outside. And when I'm not cleaning, because I clean. Thank you, Yesenia. I clean. Um, when I'm not cleaning, I'm, I make something. I make, and I sit here and I watch um, either Netflix or Prime, whichever one I find something I haven't seen because I think I've seen everything under the sun. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I try different things. I try different things. And um, so I um, first I got rid of, I did paper. I have tons of different types of paper things. I, I, I sold on paper and made tags and, and so forth. Um, I made some tag flips and and every kind of envelope I could think of, I have tried it. From repurposing to making my own envelope out of paper to booklet to I have tons of it stacked in boxes. I just sit there and I'll make a dozen of this and a dozen of that, a half a dozen of this. Because I have to do something while we're in here. Yeah. It's so nice to go outside today. And then we started seeing people and it got really scary and I didn't like it anymore. Yeah. And I'm grateful for being inside my house. Yeah. I was so excited to go out today, but no. That well, where where yeah. you are, Lisa, I'm glad you're staying in too. Yeah. No, I'm in. Um, and I don't mean anything. I'm not prejudiced. I don't. Uh, I'm. I'm Spanish, and I'm not prejudiced. And and so far, I live in a Jewish neighborhood. I love that I live in a Jewish neighborhood because they take such good care of it. And since it became Jewish, uh, the property value went up, and it's you know it's a really good neighborhood. But with this crisis, they have their own views, and I understand. I I I'm I'm not disrespectful to anybody's religion, but this is something brand new. I, I think they think that they're covered, but covered by what being, what power, what I don't know. For everyone well, to walk around without masks, it is very, very scary. Very, very, very scary. Where you live, it's an Orthodox community. You should say that. But it wasn't an Orthodox community. Now it is. It, yeah. And it's, 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 now it is. Um, they have put up almost every house for. From one section, I can say from Ninth Avenue in the 30s all the way till maybe the 80s, all the way down to like Avenue I. And it goes numbers 9, 10, 11, 12, up to 18, and then goes Avenue F, and then a few others, and then Avenue I. So it's a really big section. It's yeah, like it is. Round. And Brooklyn is big. It's it is. Very, 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 very scary. I, I couldn't believe it today. It just, it, it really freaked me out. It really freaked me out. But you know what, Liz? My family that lives in Bay Ridge, they don't go out either. It's not good over there either. Well, um, my niece, I have a niece who lives in Bay Ridge. And um, she didn't, she hasn't had an, uh, well, it's not the same, I don't know if that's Bay Ridge. Um, she lives right Close to where the Ravazano Bridge is. Yeah. I don't know if that's considered Bay Ridge or not, or if that's considered something else. But she lives in that neighborhood, and um, it's not bad. The people are not outside. The people are in their houses. Yeah. Their houses on that end, and they're in their houses. That's where my family lives in Bay Ridge, and my one cousin lives right on Shore Road, and they're not leaving the house either. Yeah. They The people stay in the house. She says yeah. when you go out, it's still it's bad there. The oh, she hasn't. She hasn't complained. She hasn't anything. She said. Um, she said it's okay so far. She's been lucky. On the few times she did go out, it's been okay. My well, niece. I'm just glad you're you're okay staying in where you are. Yeah, I can't because it's, it's scary. Anyway, yeah. sorry. Oh, you can switch me. You can switch me. I just wanted to show you the hats and 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 that's all I do here. 
I'm not doing anything. I'm not planning any sales or anything like that. I'm just making things because I have to kill time. Um, I, I packed up all, all, all the good stuff, I call it, and now I'm trying to be creative with whatever's left over. <laughs> Yeah. It's funny. I laugh at myself because I, I look at things and I say, okay, what can I make with that? And that's how I start. That's cool. You have to think outside the box. I try. I try. And yeah. I worked on with wood. And we're going to make some little cabinets. We're going to make some little cabinets next. And the cabinets are because when Karen Thompson had her sales, I <laughs> Because I like little books, and they're for my granddaughter. So we're gonna make a little cabinet to put the little book. Kathy, do you see your husband? I see him. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> he says, "Is this the channel I have killed my husband since we are staying home because of COVID?" <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh, Peter would be posting. Peter, Peter thinks he's a comedian for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm excited about next week and making uh and making something for care. Yeah. Um, that's no. exciting. Do we have a specific color base? Are you assigning us each a different color, Kathy? Or we pick no, what we no. want to do? Whatever you're comfortable with. Oh, okay. Okay. Everybody do their own style. Because I was gonna mess with you privately and tell you what colors I could work with. <laughs> Just in case. You know, you're comfortable with it's your work. Thank I gotta you. Go, I gotta go with whatever speaks to me at the time. Whatever I feel like. Working. I gotta go with whatever I need to get rid of the most. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. I might have two or three going at one time. Well, I'm still I'm still making masks, so I'm still making masks. Then I have to make drawstring bags, and I still have other stuff to make for Dubai. So, like, I, I really need to get the let out. <laughs> I tried to do some drawstring bags, but I'll be honest with you, I have to be in the mood to sew. I love it. I'm always in the mood to sew now, and it's so relaxing to me. And those like are so easy to do; you don't have to think too hard. So I just sew up a bunch of them, and then I take the my little safety pin and my ribbons, and I do the, the drawstring part sitting in front of the TV at night. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, I have two little helpers when I try to sew. Yeah. Oh, I, I try not to volunteer for anything, even though I will do this, because I do have to go out and mail something for someone. But um, I have been trying not to go out because it scares me. It scares me here. They, they, they're, they're thoughtless. Well, where you live, it's, I would be scared too. I wouldn't yeah, go out. I would too. If they're telling the truth about all the cases. Do you see your husband again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of the guys want those masks. I don't get it. He's putting his order into you, Kim, because I'm not making it. <laughs> I'm not making one of those either. Trust me, I'm still... The upstairs neighbor works at Ruth's Chris, so I made a bunch that are bento box or like sushi ones. So now she took it in to work with her, and now all the people that work there want the sushi-looking masks. So now I've got to oh, make boy. a bunch of them. They're all servers in the restaurant, so. Well, why would they want steak? I, I don't have any steak fabric. She saw them. Oh, and she said, oh, my God, this, this sushi ones are so cute. Yeah. I've made masks literally for everyone that I know that I can think of. Anyone that's asked, I've sold some, I've given a bunch away. I've like all the families, all the extended families, i am made as much masks. I'm winding down on the mask making, but I still have one more batch left to do. And then it's drawstring bag time. Yeah, after 600 bags, we said, that's it, no more. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, I've probably um, not bags. Like, I'm sorry, masks. Masks. Yeah, I've probably made a hundred masks, and I made thirty drawstring bags, and those I can make a lot quicker. The masks has a lot of steps, but I just yeah. try to, I just try to make them like as many. Honestly, this is so sad. I make as many masks at one time that I have wonder clips for. 
That's why I was desperately looking for wonder clips. <laughs> you need like six per mask when you're doing the pleats and stuff. So I needed a bunch of wonder clips so I could make, you know, more than two at a time. Oh my gosh. Peter, you're laying it on pretty thick. <laughs> oh my lord i'm so glad we're in separate rooms right now because when that lightning comes down i'm not gonna be nowhere near him it's funny right judy because we know him yeah <laughs> he's so funny <laughs> not no i'm only kidding <laughs> Okay, very happy with that. I did another flower and another card. So I don't know if you want to click on me for a second because then I have to go because it's after five and is it really? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was I have to go too because I gotta make dinner. Same oh, tonight. Love that one. Well, of course I do it's pink. It's pork chops tonight. I'm going to show all of them because I want Witchy Laura to see that I don't just only do pink. <laughs> so the other two that I made weren't pink, Laura, I promise. <laughs> they weren't. You made okay. three of them while you were live? Yeah, I made this one. So I made the card with the paper strips from my scraps. This piece of pink paper that I made the card out of was from my scraps as well. And then I glued the strips down. Then I used, I used a punch to make the circle that my flower is sitting on. So I punched that out, put foam dot under the circle, and then I made my loops with my strips to make the flower, and then I just popped a flatback pearl in the middle. I so think this, that one's my favorite. This, I think is another, <laughs> this is another one that's completely, the whole entire thing is from my scrap bin. So then I'm going to show Laura the other ones. This one does have pink in it, but <laughs> of course, <laughs> this is completely white paper scrap from my stash. I put the metallic silver from my, my scrap in all the strips. I cut the little flag out of this one and then put the little sticker embellishment and the little bow. So that's another one completely out of my scrap bin. And then the third one was I took this long envelope and I swiped it with ink first, and then I put the paper strips on the envelope, and then I made the little flower with the loops and put a button in the center for this one. And then there's going to be a tall card with the same paper strips going inside this envelope. So it was best my paper strips today is what I was working on. Those were mine. Thanks, Laura. I just wanted you to see I do. I don't always do pink. I like it, but I don't always do pink. Okay, Judy, you got anything you want to show? I'll finish. Yeah. I'll show you what I got, and then and then I got to get ready to go too. I do too. I got to fix that and eat. I'm starving. <laughs> I got to find the cap to my glue before I can go anywhere. So yeah, I can show you the the what I've done with this uh, book cover. Where did my glue cap go? Thank oh, my sun is shining on me. Hold on. Uh, one second. I love it just like that. Thanks, Laura. Thanks, Yesenia. There. That should be better. <laughs> my sun comes in the shade, and then you can't see. So give it a moment, and it'll go. those lines will go away. There it is. Okay. So this is the book cover. Um, as you all saw, I did it before one other time. Um, and so it has, uh, I made the book, book, uh, the book cloth and then painted it. So I took that grunge cloth and put it on the inside. I love that cover. Me yeah. too. I haven't started my cover yet. So this one will have, um, I'll do the, the holes here with the um, Midori um, elastic. And then this will go in here like this. Um, so there'll be enough to hold the two signatures and then three of the notebooks. Sorry, my dogs. 
Sorry. There they go. So, um, so I did the fabric um, completely on the inside and glued it down and then kind of roughed up the edges. I don't know if you can tell. Um, I'm not done roughing up the edges. I haven't decided. It's um, as is. Yeah, that's perfect for masculine journal. Yeah, I like it like that. Yeah, so I just have to pull some more strings on this side and then I'll glue all the edges down and then this will be done. Um, I may, I'll have to take the edges and, and color, you know, glue all this down real flat. But then that's it. Then I'll be able to finish up this and give it to my son-in-law. So that's all yeah, I have for the day. Book? Huh? Is, that a regular book? is that a regular book or did you make the book cover? No, I had to make it. This is um, Mar Marsonite or what is that? Ma the Masonite stuff. Um, and then this is a book. Um, I made book cloth. I had to paint it um, out of the fabric and then put it together. And so, yeah, this is a cover made from scratch. Witchy Laura says it's very Timmy. Very Timmy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that that kind of describes my 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 son-in-law. He's very Timmy. Yeah, he's very, um, he's into alchemy and he's, uh, he does Chinese um, medicine and um, he's cool. very, very um, mechanical um, and hands-on stuff. So he'll like it. He'll like it. He's a great yeah. journaler and a very good um, writer. So yeah, this will be very good for him. Laura has a question for you. Oh, really? Okay, let's see. Where is it? What does that mean? The stuff that Johnny sells? What does that mean? The, the, the stuff you made the cover out of. Um, well, no. Um, I, I bought the Marcinite or um, the chipboard is what it is, but it's, um, it's wood. I bought it at Lowe's. And I had it cut down into my sizes. And then I took the fabric, which is just this fabric. I did this fabric, which is just a regular cotton. And then I painted it um, several colors to make the book cloth. And then I put the two together. As you can see, I made the spine out of cardboard and made it rounded. And then this is the book cover. So um, it's, it's what I make. <laughs> I've done it for so long. I know that Johnny makes her books like this similar. Um, it's very similar to Nick the Booksmith style. Um, but um, but I've been doing um, booksmithing for probably longer than either one of them have been alive. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. Judy so makes that's some absolutely gorgeous, stunning, exquisite, amazing journals. Yes, yeah, she does. So thank you. So I'm so excited about finishing this one. I'm not going to flip through the journal. I showed you most of the stuff I was making. Because okay. I'm going to do a flip through of it when I finish the whole entire journal. Okay. Because I'm making this one for somebody very special. Oh, that's nice. All right. Um, thank you all for coming and sticking in there with us, even though a bunch of other ones went on. I'm sorry. I'm just going to have to figure out a time span that I didn't realize others had this time span now. So we'll work on it, but we'll get we'll get it down pat. And let us know if anybody else wants to come on next week to do the file folders. Let us know. And I do appreciate all of you coming and we will see you soon. And you, everyone. I try to do the game tomorrow night. Well, it depends on how tired I am when I get back. If not tomorrow night, it'll be Saturday. Bye, guys. All right. Bye. See you later. Thank, Thank you for coming. Thank you, ladies.